the U visa was created in 2008 to encourage undocumented immigrants to report crimes to the police. In exchange for cooperating with an investigation, undocumented immigrants who are victims of a crime can get a visa and a work permit. Paula Gonzalez is an immigration attorney who's been helping people get U visas since they first became available. It's supposed to kind of give some kind of reassurance for people who are undocumented that they can report a crime. But advocates say that person's chances of actually getting a U visa depend way too much on where the crime occurred and not enough on whether they deserve one. A big reason for this is the role police agencies play in the process. To apply for a U visa, applicants first need to get a certification form signed by a local police department. This form verifies that a crime took place and that the applicant cooperated with the investigation. They're just one one step on this. They're not making the decision on the U visa. But it is a requirement for the U visa. If you don't have a certification, you're not going to get a U visa. Tessa Cabrera is an immigration attorney who's been helping people apply for U visas since 2016. She says police departments have way too much influence over the application process. They, they in, essentially hold all the cards as far as the first step goes. Without step one, there's no step two. Cabrera says that an immigrant's odds of getting the certification go down significantly if the crime happens in the San Diego Police Department's jurisdiction. I mean, I think generally there's just been um, a more noticeable uptick in denial rates from SDPD. And I've been doing this work since specifically with this firm since 2016. It does seem like SDPD is an outlier as far as the other agencies in San Diego. Data obtained through a request under the California Public Records Act shows that SDPD has a higher certification denial rate than any other law enforcement agency in the county. Between 2017 and 2020, SDPD denied 40 percent of certification requests the agency processed. During the same period, the Chula Vista Police Department denied just 18 percent, and the San Diego County Sheriff's Department denied 21 percent. But why? Cabrera says the high denial rates have to do with SDPD's record retention policy. Most recently, we had a case denied for um, because SDPD said they could not verify the victim's level of helpfulness and cooperation with the investigation solely based on the fact that their report had been purged. One case was from a domestic violence incident that happened back in 2001, seven years before the U visa first became available. In that instance, SDPD denied an original request because the case records had been purged. So Cabrera found court records showing that her client had filed a temporary restraining order after talking with police. SDPD still denied the certification request. Without the U visa, her client had virtually no chance of getting legal status in the United States. It just kind of returns her to living under the shadows. SDPD Captain Jeff Jordan says that departments keep records as far back as 2004. That's when they switched from a paper system to a computer system. He says that the main reason applications get denied is because people just didn't fill them out correctly or they didn't provide enough documentation. People should be aware, and I hope the story conveys that, is that these packets have to be complete. We, they have to have the appropriate documentation. And there is some level of responsibility for folks to provide these documents. Jordan believes SDPD's high denial rate is largely due to the fact that the department receives multiple applications from the same individuals. And if they're not complete, it's going to lead to multiple denials. Cabrera says it's unreasonable to expect immigrant crime victims to hold on to police records dating back 20 years. I mean, I think it sends a pretty um, demoralizing message, honestly, because that, and in specifically in this case, she was a victim in 2001. The U visa wasn't even an option at that point. So, you know, when she comes forward, then she it's just too, simply too late, you know, and she she didn't know she needed to go to SDPD and request a copy of her police report to make sure she kept it for 21 years in order to get to this point. Jordan says that SDPD will start putting more information about the U visa on the department's website. The information will include a list of qualifying crimes and what kind of documentation officers are looking for. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.